Your roof is about to transform from average to amazing. And to make sure that the process is as smooth and successful as possible, we need your help. Here's five things we need you to consider before we get to your property that will help make the job a success. First, let's talk about paint overspray. As professionals, we try our best to avoid any occurrences of overspray, but even we cannot control the wind. Sometimes we'll have wind come out of nowhere, resulting in overspray on nearby objects. That's why we strongly recommend you park all vehicles in an enclosed garage, out on the street, or at least 50 metres from where our technicians are working. This also includes items such as your barbecue, outdoor settings, caravan, boat, and anything else of value. Next, we need you to think about access to your property for our workers. Our technicians will be arriving in a ute and trailer or small truck to complete the job. Please reach out if you think our technicians will have trouble getting access to the property or if there are any specific areas of the property that you'd like us to avoid parking. Once we start the project on your property, you'll also have to consider your home will now become a work site. This can include dangers such as engine noise, trip hazards or constant moving of heavy and awkward equipment. You're more than welcome to be home, but we do recommend keeping any visitors to a minimum and keeping your pets well out of the way. At this point, you would have already been asked if you've had any previous leaking issues within the house, but we cannot stress enough how important this is for us to know. We're not responsible for any water damage from leaking if the roof is unfit for cleaning. So if we are aware of any potential issues, we can make sure no damage occurs. Also, remember, shut any doors, vents, or any openings in the house upon our crews arriving at the job site. If you have a rainwater tank connected to the property, our team can assist you to disconnect and reconnect the downpipes as long as we know a day before arriving on the job site. It's important to check if your downpipes can be disconnected or not, as we may have to cut them to complete the job, resulting in the cost of replacement. We also require access to power and external water taps to be used in the pressure washing and painting processes. Usually our pressure washer will use one to two full bathtubs of water on a standard size house roof. Now, you're probably thinking this is all well and good, but how long will it take to complete my job? An average job will take between one to three weeks from when we set the edge protection up to when we remove it. That said, this can be more or less time depending on the weather, and our technicians will only be on site painting for an average of one to two days. Our teams also take great pride in leaving the work area clean and tidy after the job has been completed. The only thing that can be difficult to clean is any potential debris that has come off the roof during the washing process, as this can fall down into gardens and grassed areas. If there are any special items around the perimeter of your roof that you want to keep safe, ensure you either cover them or move them to a safe place. And finally, it is really important to let your neighbours know when your roof is going to be painted. This will alert them to make their property and belongings safe during your project. And that's it. If you'd like any additional information about preparing your property, have a look at the fact sheet you've been sent with your quote, which covers everything in more detail.